Yeah, but look, hold on, wait, watch. You're guarding, you're guarding, you body him. You, 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 anytime you do that in college, it's, it's going to be a foul. Gotcha. You know, so so in your situation, all you got to do is just stay, guard him, guard him, don't body him, because you don't need to, he's all right there. He's going to be nervous because you're quick and you have great hands. So just be solid. There's another play where you did a good job at. You definitely learned from it. Like you took that call. You yeah, you, you got a lot better. Now that's right. Here, what we got? All right, now that situation, That now David, no, that, that's not David's play. Here, watch, you got the ball in your left hand here. Keep it in that left. And you go right to your right hand. See, in that situation, you got to drag it out more. If you drag it out more, yeah, drag it out more, that big has to stay with you. You got more separation, maybe he's open, and then maybe the replace guy, the replace guy is going to be your best bet there. Biggest thing, shot goes up, get a body on him. This was a great read. You make two people guard you. Going off that handoff, two people guard you, kick it. That was a good read. Shot fake. Stress box. Get to the stress. That was a good pass. Best thing for a little guard, too. You see a guy come like that. Just arm bar. Arm bar. And then put your body. Because if you just put your body into him, then you get strong. They'll push out of the way. Bend your knees. Put that arm bar out. Stop their momentum. Then box out. If they're in the scoring area, then we're always going to go over. And you, you emergency switch, which isn't bad, and you talk, and you're able to communicate and get back out. So emergency. I don't know why I go on. I don't know. We always go over there, so yeah. I don't know why I went over there. You're going to be better today. Yeah. We've got one clip of really good offense early in the game, where after you bring it down, we go dribble handoff, and after this, we're into balance. And this was a great possession of balance. The ball's moving. You don't get it, you screen away. Chris comes and gets it. You swing it. And all this time, nobody's taking a dribble. No one's dribble. Just watch yourself, watch yourself, watch yourself. Watch yourself. What could you have done differently? It's great that, offense. They switched the screen. I didn't really hit him on the screen. Not, 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 bas not, not, not basketball wise. What could you have done different, just effort wise? All right. When you, when you do the handoff, I jog through. You jog. Yeah. So you do that handoff. Now, point guard, stop it. The point guard sets the pace of the whole offense. The point guard, your first cut sets the presence for the whole offense. So your first cut, sprint, sprint out to that corner, sprint through that lane. Because it, it just sets the whole pace for balance. Once you sprint, then it kind of sets the presence for the rest of the guys. Does that make sense? Yeah. Changing pace is big. My, my goal in our defense is like 23 feet and then, you know, we want pressure. So anything out there, we just want to be solid. All right. Yeah. And, that, and that's the same thing in hot, too. In hot, we're going to pressure. We want to make them rush, but we don't want to gamble. Never gamble. Kind of the constant theme that we're telling guys is off the ball and even on the ball. Guys being too straight legged on D and not being in a stance. You know, you just take it and you make a play. If you want a ball screen, get a ball screen. If you want to clear out, clear out. Just make a play. All right, this this is this is not you. Obviously, it's a mistake that Javon made. It's a bad pass. But look at look look at these guys hustling back on defense and watch what happens. Now, if you would have sprinted back, you could have got that rebound. So make sure we sprint back in defense. This is a big time shot. I mean, I, I, I don't know how you made it. <laughs> Not a big god, but that's great. That closed the game out for us. Thank you. I appreciate that. As a coach, you just look back and say thanks. <laughs> that was a big time shot right there. We needed that. This is something. This is something. We're it's, showing everybody this. It's really big. When somebody goes, goes down, down, we get all four guys sprinting over there. A little bit later in the game, you went down, and we had the guys walking over. So you need to rough the guys up and say, hey man, if I go down, you come help me <laughs> up. What the heck is going on? They're going to foul, they're going to push, but as soon as that shot goes up, get that forearm out, yeah. get into his body, box him out, just get that rebound. Same thing here. This one, look to see how he initiated. David, is it on the release over here? Yeah. On the release, yeah. Okay. So we had to we had to master physicality. This I wasn't paying. No yeah, you weren't paying attention. Right past my head. And you're just standing straight up. You're not in the stance. You're not ready. And we get an and one. 
you're going to be better today. I mean, I, I'm not worried about that. So if you sprint. Hey, look at that gap. He's not even on you to begin with. All right. And Thomas makes a great screen, but you got five foot of separation already before the screen. See, if you sprint, not play it fast. Right there, bam, you straight catch that, you got that much separation for a three. That's a three all day. Now watch, you pause, you dribble, then you shoot. Shot comes up on the right wing, seven out of 10 times. Rebound will be on the left. Me too, yeah. See, you standing up, standing up. You haven't bit your legs once yet. Standing, standing. Now just, now we, we got, we got, we got a defensive stop, but, but just go back to the beginning. All right, now play it. Now look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, he got his knees bent, he got his knees bent, he got his knees bent. He should have his knees bent, but now he bends him a little bit. See, you have to be able to have effort, be in a stance, and to be honest, I, I think you're going to be a pro. You have the ability to be a pro. I think you can play in the NBA, but, but this stuff is going to separate you. When you get to the NBA, you're not going to guard fours. Yeah. You're not going to guard fives. You're going to be guarding guards. So you have to get yourself prepared now to have your knees bent and be ready to guard guys. You're going to be guarding guys coming off screens. So you have to be patrolling. So this is a good way for you to build that habit. Yeah. Good. Yes. Now, now, you know why I say close out with your high hands and react with your hands? Yeah, you get deflections. And, and the thing is, we got 24 seconds on the shot clock. If we get deflection in the half court, that takes time off. And then they're, scra they're scrapping. And you're long, you're really long. God gave you long hands. You should get you should get like three to four deflections a game. Biggest thing today, I mean obviously basketball is basketball. Some of these things we can correct, we can tweak. But but things that should never change is, is effort. We gotta have effort the whole game. Body language, we gotta have good positive body language. We have to be together. And I think you as an individual can help that with the whole team. Alright? Remember the days we spent together were not enough And it used to feel like dreaming Except we always woke up Never thought not having